everyone. I was lucky enough to be gifted this Peugeot U08 built between early 1970s and, and mid 1970s. Um, the plan for today is to strip it down, take a look at the individual components, um, see what condition there are, what we can save. After that, we'll probably clean it and um, yeah, stay tuned to, to see how we go about building this, this nice vintage bicycle. All right, so like I said, um, we're gonna break it apart, take it down. I think we're gonna start off maybe by taking off the tires from the frame, from the rims, and um, then maybe go on to the seat post, the bottom bracket, the brakes, and um, we'll see how the fork is. Let's start. Let's start with the uh, the wheels. So here we are. We have our first simplex part, which is our quick releases. Um, it's the same on both wheels. I'm gonna see if maybe I can save those quick releases and put them on the new wheels, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so we're gonna start out with the rear derailleur. Um, it's a simplex. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and take off the hanger from the derailleur. Uh, simple Allen key. Um, Got to remember to remove the, the cable, the shifter cable. This is a friction shifter. Might switch the index or might keep the friction. Not too sure. Um, but it's a quick um, the wrench here. Just just loosen that up. I think I should just be able to loosen this and take off that hanger. Um, I might want to keep this. I might look for a different one or a new one depending on the derailleur that I get. And uh, we'll we'll take a look at the the front derailleur really. All right, so here we are. Front derailleur. Um, I think it should be pretty simple to take off. I'll take a look at it. Should be pretty simple. I think we just need a flat head to, to get rid of the clamp that's down here on the main frame. As you can see, there's here, there's two. One, two. Both flat heads. Um, should we be able to just undo that and probably this should just slide off. Um, so let's see how it goes. And um, yeah. Okay, so just how I mentioned, yeah, pretty simple. Two flat heads. Um, comes off loose now since I don't have a chain tool I can't take the chain off I'm going to undo this flat head here so I can just slide the chain off um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip these shifting cables they're old I, I'm not gonna use them so I'm gonna replace them anyway so that's all right um, yeah so let's let's do that and, and keep going all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and Remove the down tube shifters. These are simplex friction down tube shifters. I like the look. I'm gonna keep the down tube shifters. Might switch to index, not too sure. The Shimano 7900 looked pretty nice, but I don't think I need that many uh, index shifts. So uh, probably look for, for something a little bit easier and more simple. Um, this is plastic though. This side's missing, as you can see. So uh, hopefully we can find one that looks nice and, and fits the aesthetic. So let's go ahead and take these apart. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Um, I think it's just these flat heads, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so it's quite dirty on the inside. That's easy to fix. We can just clean that. Has no bottom bracket here on this side. This is a French one, so it screws in anti-clockwise on this side. And anti I know they're reverse. Can't quite remember. I think this is anti-clockwise. This little peg here is, is bent for some reason, but I think we can straighten that out. And on the other side, we'll just use um, a flathead and a hammer to give it a tap. All right, so the frame is a bit uh, scuffed up. Um, it's already like that. No big deal. I think I'm going to repaint it anyway, but you know, mask over the, the stickers. Um, so I'm trying to remove the bottom bracket. Drive side didn't have the ring, but the non-drive side still has the lock and the General bottle bracket. We'll see how it goes in removing gates. Um, put some WD-40 actually, something a little bit stronger than WD-40. Gonna try giving the lock ring another go. Um, I don't have the proper tool, so I'm using a flathead and a mallet to try to just take it off, but it's pretty seized. And then uh, we'll see how we go about with this. But um, yeah, let's see. Hopefully it's not too much more challenging after now. All right, so while we uh, give the bottom bracket a minute or two, I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove the brakes. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of these um, Center brakes, a uh, Mapac racer, you can find replacement pads, no problem. Um, it's just the height. Got to think about it and see see what I can do. But, uh, but yeah, big fan of the way it looks. So we're going to remove the front and the back. Uh, going to snip the 
the brake cables to begin with. All right, so here we are. The rear Mafac racer brake and the front Mafac racer brake. Actually pretty simple to take off. Just snip the uh, brake cables and just swap them. Um, gonna have to replace the pads right here. Finally managed to get the lock ring and, and non-drive side bottom bracket out. However, the lock ring is stuck. Oh, I'm sorry, someone is, uh, I guess, cutting the grass. But man, is it is it dirty in here? So you're gonna give that a proper clean with a degreaser. I'm gonna still try to, to remove the lock ring from this, although I don't think it really matters. Um, I'm gonna use the, the Velo Orange cassette bottom bracket, so it's all in one piece with the axle. Uh, I need to figure out my cranks first to figure out the length of the axle that I want, but what well, we'll need really. Um, but uh, but the good thing is, I managed to get this off. Frame is pretty much all set. Just need to do the, the seat post now and the uh, handlebars and the stem. So, let's keep going. All right, so um, we're gonna take off the saddle and the bike post, the seat post. Um, I don't know, the saddle looks like it's in pretty good condition. Uh, might replace it, might keep the same one. Uh, not sure, um, still thinking about it. I know the seat post on these frames are an odd millimeter diameter. We'll see what we can do. Might look for an aluminum one that can fit or I could maybe sand down a tiny bit, but we'll see. Uh, so let me know what you think, really. Uh, should I keep it or should I not? I don't know. All right, so these handlebars had um, styrofoam type tape, but as you can see, it's come off. All right, so I got the handlebars removed. Um, now I'm stuck with a quill stem. I tried loosening the, the top uh, bolt that loosens this, the quill inside, but it seems to be stuck inside. So I'm gonna have to use a hammer to maybe tap this down or see what else I can do. But we're gonna first try with maybe a mallet and if the mallet doesn't work, maybe the hammer. Let's see. Okay, so that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, mallet didn't work, used the hammer, came out once I gave this a few taps and just kind of came out pretty easily. Here's the quill, um, the Ava stem. Um, don't know, might, might change it. Um, I know this is also a tricky diameter size, but it should be doable. All right guys, so, took it apart. Now we just have the frame uh, and the fork down here. The other parts are in bags over there. I have the handlebars. Um, next step will be to decrease it completely, give it a clean, and um, yeah, start looking at uh, parts to, to put this bike back together. So, if you have any recommendations, let me know. So I'm open to recommendations. Uh, I think I'm going to skip out on the cleaning parts for you guys. I'm just going to do that on my own. Uh, get that done nice and quick. And uh, yeah, start looking for parts. So, thanks for watching. I hope you guys tune back in. Uh, like the video, please. Uh, subscribe if you want to continue watching more videos and more updates. Um, I might do little mini videos and review um, new parts that I get or it's you know, like the bicycle stand. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know how to go about this. This is my first time doing this and um, hopefully it goes well.